Earthquake warning. Scientists develop method to predict earthquakes in a major breakthrough. Emily Prescott of Express UK reports. This uh, comes as at a very uh, proper time because of the fact that we've had a tremendous uptick in the West Coast earthquakes. We've had at least four or five off Oregon, which were five magnitude and greater. And uh, we've had a magnitude 7.3 earthquake in Indonesia. We've even had upticks in earthquakes in Italy. And uh, what's really frightening is the earthquake swarm of California and off Oregon, because that means that there could be some kind of an effect on the San Andreas Fault. The fact that the geologists have warned us that there is an earthquake drought in Southern California and that they are expecting a large earthquake to strike there in the Los Angeles area to the south. They've been warning for months now, if not years. And this is an, an unsettling development, these uh, events with the five magnitude. You'll see the video just before this one is a special report by Terrell Blackstar, and he believes that the four quakes have been growing to five magnitude quakes, and he believes that those five magnitude quakes will grow to six magnitude quakes on the West Coast in Oregon, and that's the way of things to come, he expects. And he explains that, if you can uh, see that, that's a video just before this one. Now, um, there were various ways that scientists believe that they can predict earthquakes. The geologist of uh, Australia and New Zealand, New Zealand geologists were warning North Island and South Island residents that they would have a major earthquake months before it happened because they were studying the quake patterns of previous large earthquakes and they found that they had the same exact type of patterns this time and that's why they came out in order to advise people to be ready for a massive earthquake and this is exactly what took place uh, but it was a couple of hundred kilometers thank goodness north of the North Island and it didn't struck it didn't strike the populated areas of New Zealand, even though they felt it there, and they have tremendously large aftershocks. That was a 7.3. And just yesterday we had a 7.2 in, uh, in the Indonesia. So uh, we have seem to have an uptick of earthquakes worldwide, and they have told us that an earthquake taking place in one part of the land of the, of the world uh, may have an effect on uh, the world uh, uh, earthquake activities half a world away. And that seems to be what we're seeing here. Now, if you look at my uh, Terrell Black Star report, he explains that very well. It's a magma plume formations underneath. Now, um, so the, we saw that the geologists of New Zealand were able to predict, and it did hit. But at least they were able to predict, warn people to be alert, to be ready uh, in case of a large massive earthquake, what to do, to know what to do. And um, that's their obligation to do so. Now, a new way to measure earthquakes may unlock the holy grail of where and when earthquake tremors will strike as new research reveals the patterns are very important as to uh, warn people. Now, a new way of measuring earthquakes may unlock the holy grail when and where the tremors will strike in new research that reveals important patterns. Scientists have long struggled to identify patterns for earthquakes leading to suggestions they strike at random, but research led by the University of Plymouth in the UK made a very interesting discovery they studied earthquakes from the past 700 years and they created a model to show how the stress underground changed. Dr. Milden told Daily Mail earthquakes are caused by rocks sliding past each other along fault lines, which causes the forces and stress in the surrounding rocks to change after a big earthquake. 
Tectonic plates are made from the Earth's crust and upper portion of the mantle, and these sit on top of the asthenosphere, which is much hotter and more fluid. The rocks in this layer flow like a liquid, and they do not all move in the same direction, and they can clash, which builds up a huge amount of pressure between two plates until eventually a plate will under or over the other. Severe earthquakes normally occur over fault lines where tectonic plates meet, but minor tremors can happen in the middle of these tectonic plates. Dr. Milden explained and says it is often assumed that the nearest fault to a particular earthquake will be the next to rupture. Our study shows this is never the case. Let's, put, let's say that again. He said it is often assumed that the nearest fault to a particular earthquake will be the next to rupture. And our study shows this is never the case. That is amazing. I mean, we expect that, for example, California, San Andreas, that's where you're going to have an earthquake. He says, no, that's never the case. He says, so typical approaches to modeling Coulomb stress transfers have limited potential to improve seismic hazard assessment. Our models adds the stresses of lots of earthquakes together shows that the majority of cases, fault lines are positively stressed when they rupture. It is a step change in modeling Coulomb, that's C-O-U-L-O-M-B, Coulomb stress transfers and shows this is an ignored yet vital factor when trying to explain earthquake triggering, end quote. The historical records that Dr. Milden and his colleagues studied began in 13, 49, and they reveal the lives lost and damaged by the Earth's movements across central Italy, including earthquakes in the towns of Amatris and Norcia, which killed approximately 300 people in August 2016. The full findings of the study were published in the journal Nature Communications. Now, following the 5.6 magnitude that we had six kilometers south-southwest of Petrolia, California. We had another one today of a 3.9, no, 2.6, and then we had a 3.9 uh, just today, a couple of hours ago, 47 kilometers west of Petrolia, California. And of course, at the Blanco uh, fracture zone, we've had an increase of uh, earthquakes, the biggest of which was a 5.4 magnitude of yesterday. And a 5.4 again, you know, we had a couple of 5.4s. And as Terrell Blackstar in the video before this one explains, he believes that these 5 plus magnitudes will grow to become 6 plus. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.